And here are the starters. Number one is Brenderwin, owned by Jeff Jarrell and Arthur Geiger of New York and New Jersey. Bob Bencal is the trainer. Dave McGee, the driver. Number two, Bit of Candy, owned by David Scharf, by Jerry and Rosalie Silva of New York. Ron Gerfine trains, and Mike Lachance will drive. Number three is Men Power, owned by Bowl Stables, by Dan Shetler and Mitchell Rosenthal of Illinois and Texas. Dan Shetler, the trainer driver. Number four is Crowning Glory, trained and driven by Mark O'Mara for owner Joe McCluskey of Battle Creek, Michigan. The 10th race coming up in just four minutes, only four minutes to post on this trifecta race. Here they come. They're off and trotting. Crowning Glory is quick to grab the racetrack. Bit of Candy gets away second on the inside of Men Power. And Brenderwin is trotting fourth, but up close to the field, heading on to the first turn. It is crowning glory for Mark O'Mara in the green and white colors, leading it by two lengths. They get over next to the rail now. Men Power is second on the outside, a half length. And then Bit a Candy, the odds-on favorite, trotting in third. And a gap of three more lengths back to Brenderwin, who is trailing 29-2 and two for the opening quarter. And there goes Men Power, moving up to get the lead. Men Power takes over by a length for Dan Shetler at the entry to the back stretch. It is Crowning Glory, who now picks up cover, trotting in second by a length and a half. Bit of Candy is third, and Brenda Wynn is fourth. They're all single file. Now, here comes the favorite, Bit of Candy, moving up on the outside. Bit of Candy, moving from third into second, and now up to challenge Men Power for the lead. The half was trotted in 59 seconds. Bit of Candy leads it by three parts of a length, going on to the far turn. Men Power second by a length. And then crowning glory third, and Brenderwin has lost contact with the field in fourth. They're midway on the last turn. Bit a candy leads it by just over a length. Men Power now finds herself trotting in second at three quarter. Crowning glory takes to the outside third, and Brenderwin is fourth. Three quarters, 128 and one. Top of the stretch in the review, Castleton and Bit a Candy leads it by two. Men Power then Crowning Glory on the outside, and Crowning Glory now goes to second, but is still a length and a half off the lead of Bit a Candy. Bit a Candy stays alive, leading it by two. Men Power fighting back on the inside to regain second. Crowning Glory now third, and Bit a Candy on cruise control here. She wins it by two. The mile in 156 and three, Men Power was second, Crowning Glory was third. For race 10, picking up the review, Castleton Farm for three-year-old trotting fillies. Number two, Bit of Candy, Mike Lachance, the winning driver. This three-year-old daughter of Pine Chip, owned by David Scharf, by Jerry and Rosalie Silva, trained by Ron Gerfine, driven by Lachance, bred by H.P. Gold and Lindy Farms of Connecticut. Time for the mile, 156 and 3. The result is official. The 2-3 exacta, $4.60. We'll get the trifecta payout in a moment. Jim Sprout.